Good morning. It's uh, 7.13. Getting the start here. A little downhill action to Route 25A. I have a couple hills I got to go over today. I don't think either of them are super big. And then a couple pointless ups and downs. I think one first thing I did is climb up to a place called the Ore Hill Campsite. Where there used to be a shelter, but apparently it burned down in 2011. But there's still a campsite and a privy there. Uh, that's about a thousand foot climb, I think. And then I bounce around a little bit. Then I got to go up a little again over something called Mount Mist. Uh, and then it's downhill into, I think there's one pointless up and down on the descent into uh, Hiker's Welcome Hostel at the uh, kind of near the beginning of Mount Musalaki. So 10 mile day, nothing too crazy get there and apparently the owner there is super knowledgeable about the white mountains and so i think being there for an afternoon i can soak up some intel figure out exactly how i want to try to get through these things and uh yeah that'll be good uh slept okay not great um my knees were hurting while i was sleeping even though i took a couple ibuprofen before i went to bed but I feel okay right now. Feet are waking up. And I'll figure out a would you rather by the time I get to the bottom of this hill before I start climbing the next one. See you in a bit. All right, I'm back for a would you rather and a couple of things from last night. So first from last night, I uh, heard some coyotes, uh, which was pretty cool. Um, they were a little, they were down this way that I'm walking now. Um, and they were making that weird whiny almost sounds like a i don't know an alien child they make some kind of strange noise that's not a howl heard them going and then uh oh, this must be that other campsite uh nick is set up near the road right here it looks pretty good and 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 maybe we talked about this before i saw all kinds of i guess there's some form of a lightning bug firefly um, they're not like the kind that I have back home in Pennsylvania and New Jersey where I grew up. I, those back home are like, their tails kind of like glow like a yellow and they kind of like glow on and glow off. These are like bright white strobe lights uh, and they were everywhere. It was kind of wild. Um, maybe we talked about this before. I don't remember if I saw them down south and somebody told me what they are, but if anybody knows what those are and that they're like a different kind of lightning bug than the ones with the yellow tails that I'm used to seeing. Let me know. As far as would you rather, we're going to go music today. I don't think we've done this one. I don't know if we've done this one or not. Every, I'm starting to forget. It's been so, we've done so many. Um, this is going to be, would you rather see in concert journey in their prime or genesis in their prime now i'm going to let you decide what the definition of their prime is because both of those bands had lineup changes at some point uh particularly in the lead singer and so curious what people think about that uh i'll have to think about that one a little bit i think i know which one i'm going with but I'll think about it a little bit more and yep here coming up on the road here comes a big truck going by so let me get busy going up to Ore hill campground and see you guys in a little bit well it's not a real moose but it's close this is the entrance to camp musalaki and they got a sculpture of a moose Hopefully I'll see a real one soon. Well, I had to go back to the net. This little section is nothing but boardwalks and mud and bogs <clears throat> and bugs. So just popped it back on and hopefully we'll start heading steeper up the hill soon. And get out, whoa, things a little, cr a little rocky, rockety. Rickety. Anyway, um, good boy. Legs are a little tired tonight. 
Definitely not feeling as good as they did yesterday, which is a bummer. But, oh man, rocks moving around. All right, I'm going to put this away because this section is a mess. Mud, bogs, swampiness. I'd rather not fall into it. See you in a bit. All righty. Just made it to the top of that first climb. It was not fun. <clears throat> My legs are really tired. Yesterday, they felt good. And I was going up Smarts and uh, now Cube, which was not easy, but it felt good going up, but no recovery today. So, moving slow. Just got passed by a Nobo through hiker. Met for the first time, Walker. He started three days ahead of me down in uh, Springer. So he's moving quick. He said I'm like the first northbound through hiker he's seen in like three weeks. So he's obviously hiking solo in and around people. Um, but not a lot of people up here right now. He's going over Musalaki today, so he's got at least, he's doing at least 20 today, right? Because it's 10 for me to get to that to that hiker hostel, and he's got, it's 10 from there over Musalaki, so I don't know where he started. I didn't see him, so he's doing at least 20. That's what those young guys can do, all right? Anyway, uh, let's just keep going downhill for a while. And then we gotta do climb up Mount Mist and downhill to the hostel. Short day, rest the legs, be ready to do it tomorrow. Here we are at Route 25C, New Hampshire. I guess there's a Route 25, there's a 25A, there's 25C. It's not like they would run out of numbers up here, I would think. But is what it is. Here's some power lines. Crossing over them. And the trail heads back into the woods to the left up here. Past this little parking area. Whew, it's warm out. No cell signal since I left my camping site. So you can't really check anything. Can't get a little news or anything to listen to. I don't know how you're supposed to call for shuttles. I saw at the last road crossing, Hikers Welcome Hostel had a little sign posted with their number on it. And I know they pick up there, but no cell coverage. So I don't know how you're supposed to call them. But I think I got like four and a half miles to go to get to uh, the road that they're on. And then you got to walk a little bit down that road to get to them. So... Slowly but surely, we're doing it. Alrighty. Made it to Mount Mist. A measly 22.30. Ah, my legs are shot. I am so frustrated that I felt so good yesterday. And today, I can barely move. I don't know how I'm going to get through the whites if I can't put two days in a row together. It's just, uh, should have done this when I was 20. Recovery time would have been a lot better. But now I'm stuck here at 60. And it no bueno. No bueno. Oh boy. I better rest up today. And I don't know how I go over Mount Musawaki today. Doing 10 miles the way my legs feel. It's mostly downhill now. One stupid little pud in the middle of the descent. So let's get down there, get a bunk, rest the legs. I think they do a shuttle to like a later in the day to a gas station or something that's also like a grocery store and you can get some prepared meals or something like that. They don't have dinner at the hostel, but I think I need to eat some more. I had a hiker meal last night that I put some extra, pa an extra packet of chicken in, but even that combined was only like 680 calories. 
And I had a bunch of nuts, some other stuff, some candy, but not enough protein. Uh, I had some, I had some uh, uh, beef jerky too, but it's not a huge meal. I think I need the huge meals, but they're hard to carry. So anyway, I'm rambling. Let's go downhill and get this thing over with today. All right. There's not much of a view here. This is a little side trail to a view, but it's all overgrown. But I'm pretty sure that's the top of Mount Musalaki that I got to go up tomorrow. Ah, oh, boy, that's going to be a that's going to be a tough day. Let me see if I can get back up these rocks. There's a little better view of where you got to. That's probably the approach trail up to it up there. So, doesn't look too bad going up. The back side, the north side, is supposed to be super steep going down. So I might go up that south side and slack pack back to this hiker's welcome. But I got to figure out what that means the next day looks like. So, that's what I'm going to think about when I get there. But there you go. Almost, almost down the hill. And that's what I got tomorrow. Well, hello, it's 12.40, uh, a little over 10 miles in, and I made it to the road that, I guess, 25, I don't know which one the 25 this is, 25C. I got to walk three-tenths of a mile down to Hiker's, uh, Hiker's Welcome. It's supposed to be down here on the left, I think, and uh, hopefully they'll let me check in early. Um, today's would you rather, would you rather see Journey or Genesis back in the day and whatever you described as their, uh, prime time glory days. I'm going with Journey with Steve Perry as the lead singer. Love, uh, his voice and, uh, they put out some great music with him as the front man. They had some good stuff before he joined the band, but I think he took them to a whole nother level. Like Genesis, too. Genesis with Phil Collins as the front man, more so than Peter Gabriel. Um, but I just like Journey a little bit more. Probably more of their songs. Uh, big part of the soundtrack of my college years. So I'm going with that. And... Um, if anything happens up here, I'll let you know if it's interesting. But I really want to just chill out, relax, try to get my legs back, and uh, get ready for tomorrow. So this might be the last be last one for the day. But uh, if so, I'll see you tomorrow, and hopefully it'll be a better day. See ya.